and just relax here. Woo! Oh my god. You're okay. You see it's a lot freer. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're all set, alright? Oh, okay. Alright. I'm uh -huh. sorry I cried. <laughs> it's okay. An adjustment can be emotional. Synergy Wellness, Chiropractic and Physical Therapy, Dr. Dave here. So we adjusted your knee last time. So she's flat-footed and um, had, why don't you tell everybody what, what was going on with your knee? Um, I'm a hard walker, so definitely I was having some knee pain and it was cracking a lot. And every time I would still crack it, it would hurt. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it hurt So she lot. was cracking her own knee. Um, anyway, all we did was one adjustment, one simple adjustment and and I haven't had pain since, so it was great. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and I walk to and from work every day with no pain. Great. And, and now it could come back because we have to fix the flat feet. Uh, that's important. When you're flat footed, you rotate your knee in automatically, and that sets the tibial, the head of the tibia back posterior. And then um, all it takes is a blow from the front or twisting in the wrong way, and you can tear that meniscus. So. We're just gonna loosen up the quad muscles here and I'm gonna show you how we do that adjustment for her. And she doesn't like this very much because <laughs> it's painful for her, but it shouldn't be. This should not be uncomfortable for her. She should be able to tolerate this and we'll compare it to the other leg, watch. Right in there. For those of you that can't see, she's, she's got a white knuckled <laughs> fist over here on this side. It's uncomfortable. Go ahead and bend this leg and watch the difference here. How's that? Not bad. Not bad. Well, so it shows you that this is the way it's supposed to be. Okay, bend this leg again. Okay, now cross your arms in front of you if you could. Like this. She woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, has a little bit of upper back, mid back, neck pain. Tuck your chin down, deep breath in, and blow all the way out. Okay, and relax your head back, slide down a little bit. And because her neck's out of alignment and her knee oftentimes, I'm just going to check her ankles here. Sure enough. And relax here. Okay. Now I'm going to have you um, cross your arms one more time in front of you. Good. Tuck your chin down. Take a deep breath in. Come on up. And head back. Good. Good. Okay, turn over on your stomach. So, uh, she has an elbow problem. She's got a lot of different joint problems. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust her knee. Um, again, she is flat-footed. So this is called a speeder board. We're gonna place that right under the knee, good, and just drop it down. And. It's not painful, right? Nope. Okay, again, we need to fix the flat feet, and the best way to do that is custom orthotics. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of... Really, if you need custom orthotics, you got to go to a doctor to, to have them fit. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to go and get over-the-counter orthotics, they're not going to be as good, mm -hmm. um, but it might, it might help a little bit. Okay. Any kind of over-the-counter orthotic might help just a little bit for you, okay? Um, as far as providing medial arch support. Most over-the-counter orthotics just fix one arch, the medial arch, mm -hmm. okay? And we all have three arches in our feet. 
So a custom orthotic is going to fix all three arches. Here. Over the counter, it'll fix just one. Okay, go ahead and turn over on your back. Let's check your neck and your elbow. She has neck pain radiating down the, uh, the arm. So brachial neuritis, uh, the brachial plexus controls all the sensation in the arms, hands and fingers, as well as the muscles. So it's this arm that gets numb. Oh, yeah. And oftentimes it's from a disc uh, herniation or bulge in the neck. And she did have a nerve test done, which showed that. It's C5, C6, which controls the bicep muscle and the sensation in these two fingers and then half of the middle finger. Okay, so if you, if the nerve gets completely damaged, you will not be able to give the middle finger to anybody. Oh no. I'm kidding, <laughs> you will be. Uh, but it, the certain nerves control flexion of the fingers and extension of the fingers. Okay. So you wanna make sure all the nerves are working properly. So we're gonna check the elbow joint right now and make sure that that pain that you're having in the elbow is um, not coming from a, a subluxation in the elbow joint itself. Mm -hmm. Subluxation is a misaligned joint, okay? okay. So um, I'm gonna open this arm up, ready? Resist me, one, two, three, resist. Good, any pain? A little tenderness. Okay, right here? Right here. There, okay. And I'm gonna push in, resist me, one, two, three, resist. Oh, oh my God. That hurts, yes. okay. <laughs> That was pretty obvious, okay. We're gonna do one more. I'm sorry if it hurts, but we just need to test it. So you're gonna go like this. Yep, one, two, three, resist. That's strong, no problem, right? It's not too bad, whatever. Was it painful? Nope. Okay, so she tested positive for a radial subluxation. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust that and then we'll muscle test it afterwards. And just relax here. Woo, did you hear that? That was loud. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, okay. All right, now we're gonna check it again. So one, two, three, resist. Oh my goodness. No pain and it locks. Yeah. Great, okay, now. So that was coming from that. Let me know if you have any numbness or tingling rating down into the fingers or anything like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Relax your head. That's why you get your headaches. I'm sorry. Right there. Okay. I'm not having an Okay. I don't think I'm allowed to. Relax. Am I allowed to with an OBC disc? Am I allowed to? I'm okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just Atlas C1. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're fine. Deep breath. In your neck. Just worried about my disc. No, yeah. look, feel your neck. Feel the difference now over here on this side? I think so. I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. Deep Sorry. breath in. It's okay. I'm just nervous about I know. I know. I know. You take a deep breath I'm sorry. in. I'm sorry. That's going to free up a lot of your headaches there. Now we're obviously not going to adjust C5, C6. I'm sorry. There. Okay. Yeah. I think I just got nervous because yeah. they told me not to have a neck crack. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That cracking noise is just a byproduct of gas being released from the joint, okay? So you could do this and you'll hear your neck crack, right? Have you ever turned your neck and heard it crack? Before my surgery. Yeah, so all the joints are so Not stiff. Since my surgery. Exactly, so all the joints are so stiff. That cracking noise is just gas being released from the joint. Okay. It's not the adjustment, it's not bone on bone, it's impossible. We have okay. soft tissue in there. Okay, okay I'm sorry, I didn't mean to crack. No problem, no problem. Okay. Take a deep breath in and out. Okay, now what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you sit up and move your head around and move your neck around, okay? Move to the side. Now just move your head around, left to right. See, it's a lot freer. Yeah. Okay? okay just I'm the sorry. very, very top of the, the atlas and axis bone. And those two bones actually surround the brain stem and can create tension headaches for you. Okay. okay? Yep. And also vertigo and sinus okay. conditions. Okay. Okay, so we're not going to do that with C5, C6. Okay, thank you. Um, obviously, we're going to do the flexion distraction with that. I want to see how you respond to that. And how did you do with the flexion distraction on your neck last time? Yeah, whatever you did last time, like I had no pain, mm -hmm. like until I slept on last night. 
until you slept. Yeah, I, it was great. And it may not have had anything to do with the way you slept. It might may have just been that you held the adjustment for 24 to 48 hours, which oh, is okay. very common, okay? okay. So um, I'm not going to say that it was definitely the way you slept or that it was your pillow, but if it keeps happening where you're waking up in the morning with neck pain or upper back pain, then we may want to take a closer look at your pillow, okay? okay. Yeah. You're going to be fine. If you have any issues, you call me later today. I'll call you later today to check on you and make sure that you're okay, all right? We can do that so if Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, we don't need to do that. So go ahead and stand up. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. And you can go ahead and put your shoes on. You're all set, all right? Oh, okay. Thank all you. Right. I'm sorry uh -huh. I cried. <laughs> it's okay. An adjustment can be emotional. You're not the first person to cry during an adjustment. We've had a lot of people do that. A lot. It happens almost every day, actually. Okay. <laughs>